Hello everybody and welcome back to Promise Gaming and more Plaguing Evolved Custom Scenarios. Got another request and this one apparently is doing pretty well in the popular tab right about now. See if I can find it. Do I have to put the periods in or can I just say squip? There, whoop, I saw it. No, wait, is that, wait, is this it? This one. Undead Kitten Chaos, was this it? There's now, there's two squips. I hope this is the right one, because this is the one we're going to go for. This is heavily inspired by the musical Be More Chill. For any of the fans out there, please come here to play this custom scenario, Squip-based plague. Praise Provis. Well, I think I found the right one. That's why I scrolled down to check. Okay. I am no expert on these Japanese uh, musicals, which I think is based on... Is it a novel? A graphic novel? I don't know. Be More Chill, if, from what I can tell, is like if I remember correctly, it's uh, kind of an angsty teenage romance sort of adventure where uh, the guy has this pill called Squip. It's a quantum processor in a pill, and it basically teaches him how to be more cool until it ends up being faulty and doesn't do a good job. Something along those lines. So let's see if I'm right. New advanced AI technology has been released thanks to the hardworking programmers in Japan. Where else? Gray pills carrying extremely powerful AI are consumed, traveling through the main artery system and implants itself into the brain like a parasite Nurax worm. Yep, there it is. The super quantum intel processor or whatever squip uh help squips take over so basically we're to using the pills to take over the world and probably kill everybody or just make everyone really cool or just make everyone really chill i'm not sure yet Nurax worm atp boost darwinist terrorist extreme file and symptostasis normal difficulty and it is called squip by default super quantum unit intel processor you seem, you, uh, let's see, spread yourself by making yourself seem positive. Okay, so yes, you were designed to improve people's lives, no apostrophe, as you were help people in their social and economic lives, they will willingly take the squip pill. Be careful when evolving severe symptoms as it will discourage people. So as long as people think that this is a beneficial AI program, they're going to turn out just fine and they'll take it. Little do they know, it's a nefarious plot. Neural breach. Okay, um, wait, these are, these are normal Nurex worm symptoms. Where's the pill? I was expecting more of that. Okay, so we have the tendrils, we have cerebral tendrils, we have neuroenhancement. There we go. AI able to enter brain cells and modify DNA. Improving existing neural pathways. Increases intelligence in humans. Seems beneficial. Let's market that to people. That alone actually would probably make us like a hit drug. People will start buying the crud out of us. Neuroenhancement 2. Able to further modify the brain cell DNA, triggering development of new neural pathways, again increasing human... So it's the same as before... Just more so, with basically the same description. All right, pick that up. Neuroenhancement 3. The AI aggressively manipulates brain cell DNA, accelerating neural pathway growth, increasing intelligence with a chance of an immune response. That may not be something we want quite yet. That might, that might scare people. Side effects, you know? For transmissions, we have disguise. Some squip pills disguised to look like Tic Tacs, tricking people to unknowingly take the pill. Effective in rich countries. Why trick anyone? The rich people are going to be the ones who just jump on this. Gimme, gimme! Also, who eats a gray Tic Tac? That's disgusting. Anyway. Uh, we have job applications. The AI helps aid boot... AI helps aid hosts... Okay, to get better jobs, encourages people to take the pill. Especially in the poor countries. Friendly behavior. Squips will act charismatically and friendly, giving them a good reputation. Encourages people to take the pill. There we go, a better user interface. People feel more comfortable with a more, uh, with a more approachable AI. Grade raise. Squips provide students with educational help, helping to raise their grades. Youths are encouraged to spread the pill, especially in the urban environments. Guaranteed A on your homework. Romantic help. That's the basis for pretty much the entire Be More Chill book slash musical, whatever it is now. Squips provide teenagers and adults with romantic counseling. Encourages others to take the pill. All of these seem beneficial. I can market this. I can market the crud out of this. Code hardening. Code becomes harder to decode and analyze. Decreases future research speed. Why would you want to do that? Okay? No, you don't want to, you don't want to, you don't want to cure me. I'm going to help you all get girlfriends and get good grades so that you can get better girlfriends. Drug dealers from Japan have gotten their hands on unfinished advanced squip technology. They have begun to sell these pills illegally for money and ship them to different places. Do I get a spore burst across the planet? Because if I don't, I'm going to be very disappointed. I am disappointed. All right, transmissions. We are going to go for friendly behavior. We'll start off simple. If you're going to have a voice inside of your head, improving your neural pathways, I want it to sound like Jeeves. I want it to sound really relaxing, okay? Um, job applications, uh, you know what, I think people want romantic help even more. That'll be fine. 
Friendly behavior too. The AI begins to act more charismatic, encouraging, and caring. Is this the same as before? Charismatic and friendly. Basically, helps host manage emotions. Hosts feel the squip is their friend. Encourages others the pill. Encourages others the pill. To take the pill. Romantic help too. Squips increase their ability to help their hosts keep and maintain romantic relationships. More people are again encouraged to take the pill. All right. Great. Um, now I just need some freaking DNA because I've started off in a rich country like Japan, and that makes things a little bit difficult. Let's go for grade raise. Is Japan considered urban? It is. Neuro enhancement three. Crud. Okay, now we have an immune response, which will scare some people, but I can't devolve it for 18 DNA. Oh my gosh. All right. Dementia. Neurat neuritic? Neuritic plaques deposited on gray matter significantly impact memory and learning very hard to cure. Uh, yeah, that would scare some people. That that might that might be enough to turn me off of getting the pill. It depends on how desperate I was for romantic advice. But given that I managed to get married, I feel like I'm completely out of that market and I don't have anything to worry about. So uh, yeah, I would probably I would probably just go ahead and skip the pill at that point. Those are some side effects I don't feel like living with. For real though, do I have any like do I have any like drug resistance or something? Do we want the cerebral trendules for two points? Sure, why not? What's this? This is new upgrade. Tendrils mesh with frontal lobe, the consciousness thought center, and gain ability to mentally manipulate the host, unlocks new transmissions and abilities. Wait, so the pill has tendrils. I assumed these were just leftovers from the Nurax worm that weren't properly uh, re-customized, but are we saying that the pill actually has tendrils? Because that's, uh, that's an interesting bit of lore that I wasn't aware of. As the squips tendrils, tendrils, no I, dig deeper, it disrupts the host's risk and reward analysis, resulting in risky, unsafe, and impulsive decisions. Or Perceptive Jolt. Uh, this is definitely from the original Nurex Worm. Huh. Okay, so now I'm kind of working myself into a position where I'm a little bit worried that the mutations might come back to bite me. We do have to be a little cautious about that. We do have something new. Steady Influence. AI will gain a more manipulative personality. It will begin to make its hosts believe that it is up to them to help people by squipping them. We'll trick people. That is rude. Let's go for job applications. We're going to start with the simple stuff. We haven't even gotten out of Japan yet. Only 57 people have bothered taking this pill, and already their brain is getting jolted. Yeah, I mean, if this if this were like one of those blind studies to get approved by the FDA, you might fail now. We may have overdone it a little bit. If I have to redo it, then I won't get pretty much any symptoms at all, actually. And I'll focus exclusively on the uh, transmissions. We're getting kind of stuck here. What's this? Squip controlled plane. Squip temporarily controls the squipped pilot to fly into a target country with a shipment of pills and encourage the good name of squip pills in that area. Yes. I will take that. Get me anywhere. Get me somewhere. Please get me to Saudi Arabia so I can spread. Jeez. Well, we haven't got enough of a presence in Japan for that to work. Which is okay. It's kind of what I expected. It's just now we're really sitting here just waiting on these freaking orange bubbles. I need drug resistance, man. Drug resistance! I should have gone for disguise. Oh, of course. I'm an idiot. Of course I should have gone for disguise. This is better in the rich countries. Grab. Then we have disguise too. More pills become disguised as Tic Tacs. More people unknowingly take the pill. Again, I don't know if that's necessary. We shouldn't have to fool these people. There's a lot of reasons they might want to take it. Okay, so we got the occipital mesh... Tendrils mess with the occipital lobe, the visual processing center. Now we can have hallucinations and confusion. Well, that would reduce my infectivity. Confusion, yeah, so all these scary things reduce the infectivity, which is definitely not something I want. Uh, I'm very worried about the mutation at this point, and I should have gone for disguise a lot sooner. Alrighty then, so we're just going to have to sit back and wait for some DNA and see what happens. Starting in Japan is a little bit boring and dumb. Let's go to Saudi Arabia just so I can start working toward that plane. I mean, I know that I could go to, like, the United States or some other continents elsewhere over here and make it a little bit faster. Yes, I could do that. But, 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 I would rather go to some places that will uh, have a wide range that can send me all over the world pretty quickly. We'll worry about getting to the islands later. Emotional Sync, a new solution? Japanese programmers are working to develop Emotional Sync. Emotional Sync is designed to make squips empathetic, empath yeah, empathetic and care for their hosts. This will prevent the technology from corrupting and taking over. Emotional Sync may be the cure we need. Oh, yes, it's taking over the world. We just wanted to feel guilty about doing that and we'll be fine. Let's go for more disguises so that people think it's more Tic Tacs. Society is conflicted. People blame the Japanese government for letting this unstable technology loose onto the world. Who knows what it could do to humanity? 
Others believe this is positive. Scripts appear to have been helpful overall. Of course we have. Come on. Let me trick you people. Let me manipulate you. Japan starts working on the cure already. Oh. Well, we got the planes. Um, okay. Let's go to Brazil. Again, I'm just I'm trying to find a few central hubs that will be able to start getting into some neighboring countries. New fall in urban uh, density. That's unfortunate for me, actually. Because I was kind of relying on some of that. Steady influence 2. AI's influence on hosts becomes more powerful. Hosts deeply believe they should trick others to take the pill in order to help them. Sure. Let's be even more manipulative. For their own good, you have to force them to ingest this thing. We'll go to Canada, and then I think after that we can afford to start going to exclusively islands with our Trojan planes. We do have grade raise. AI becomes more helpful, increasing grade improvement, and getting younger hosts into high-level colleges like Harvard. Others grow more eager to take the pill. I mean, yeah. You know what? Since I can't seem... I, can't, I probably can't sway the older generations quite as easily. We'll just tell the youth this is basically your ticket into getting automatic A's in everything you want to do. As long as no one knows you took the pill... I don't know. I just feel like the youth would be more susceptible to something like this. Job applications, too. Better in poor countries? Um, yes, we might as well. That leads to success. Success. Scripts make hosts overall more successful and improve their lives. People eager to take the pill, especially in urban and poor countries. Okay. Uh, needed for life improvement? I'm guessing that's a victory condition. Friendly behavior, too. We'll pick that up. And we'll pick up romantic help. That leads to Wingman. Squibs become a close friend to their hosts, helping them with their social and emotional lives. People are extremely eager to take the pill. Needed for life improvement. You know what? Maybe we won't kill the world today. Maybe after all, we will just try to help everyone. Help, help you find yourself a mate. And help you uh, succeed in everything in life. Let's go to Australia next. Wingman. We'll pick that up. Now everyone will take the pill. And we got into Australia at just the wrong time, so that was a totally pointless endeavor. All right. Fun. Uh, they're working on that cure a little bit more rapidly than I'm comfortable with, but there's the success. Now we have life improvement. Thousands of people are scrambling to get the amazing AI p a pill that helps them in all life aspects. How much is it? 39 DNA. All right, we're going to go to New Zealand next. Uh, I think we're missing Caribbean, Madagascar, Iceland. We missed Iceland? China's in anarchy. Oh, no. I actually probably shouldn't have gone to uh, New Zealand. All right, let's go for life improvement. Is that considered like a win condition as long as we get the whole world infected? In which case, we really need to get some uh, more Trojan planes, if and you please. Um, we could go for perceptive shift. We do have the hallucinations. We could go for dementia. Anything to get me some lethality so I can get a little bit more uh, DNA wouldn't be so bad. Actually, no, we should do. Should do is uh, go for anything that reduces the speed of the cure. I may have to restart this one because I kind of messed that up a little bit. They're working on that cure way faster than I expected. Code reassembled, more work needed, or code becomes complex and is constantly reprogramming itself. That's basic genetic hardening. Uh, and yes, indeed, I am going to have to restart this one. Well, that is... Whoop, maybe not. Hang on. Uh, genetic shuffle, genetic shuffle, and hardening. Yes? Oh, good. We set it back down to 62%. Trojan planes, please! Seriously! Okay, go to Iceland. We're not going to make it. <laughs> it was a good shot, though. Oh, well. All right, let's restart. Okay, so it's way, way easier starting off in Japan if you pick up the Disguise and the Grade Rays first. Urban and Rich. Yeah, that works out pretty well. What just happened here, though, is we were stuck with, like, no points, and then I just got cured, got a huge boost of DNA so I can grab life improvement right away. I'm thinking you really do have to go for some of these symptoms to get a meaningful amount of severity, or else you're going to run out of gas completely. So the entire world is infected, and I have not won. That upsets me a little bit. Um, so how do you win, then? Hallucinations, insanity. <sighs> the world's infected, and I can't win. I thought life improvement was going to do it for me. Turns out, was not worth getting. Too expensive. Does not lead to a win condition. All right, you asked for it. We're going to have to restart, and this time I'm going to kill the world. What I'm discovering is this is actually a pretty tough scenario just because you really do have to make that delicate balancing act between going for something to encourage people to take the pill versus discouraging them and scaring them all off. I mean, we've gotten so many uh, symptoms at this point, but look how low my infectivity is. So if you haven't infected the whole world, that's a little bit tough to do at this point because now the infectivity is so low, even with the Trojan planes, it's difficult to outrace that cure. And at the same time... 
Uh, if we waited until we had the world infected, we probably wouldn't have enough DNA to actually do anything. You'd run out of gas. So there's a very delicate balancing act here, which is a little bit awkward. Um, all right, so we could go for corruption, which is forcing people to ingest the pill. Uh, is probably okay, but maybe I want to save up for this last code reshuffle because we're so close to the end of the cure. I'm pretty much just waiting for the last countries in Africa to fall. And thus far, they are holding out on me. So here's hoping I get... Oh, there we go. Okay, we got in. We got in. All right, not much else I can do as far as getting my infectivity up. Let's go for the corruption, forcing people to ingest the pill with a spell with a J. It says it unlocked a new ability, and it's called Why Struggle. Host forced into a permanent state of worship acceptance, treating the squip as their eternal god, content with being... Sorry, content with being taken over. I mean, that sounds all well and good. Um, realistically, by the time that I get to that point, it looks like I've pretty much killed the entire world already, so... Uh, I'm not too sure how I would get that uh, that symptom or that ability, but I'm not sure that it matters. We're finally going to beat it. That's actually... Here's the thing. So the content matter being squips and stuff, I don't know a ton about it, but really... Oh, wait. Oh, Lord. Please tell me we're going to get South Africa. There we go. There we go. Okay. I almost spoke too soon. Anyway, not knowing a ton about the content matter as far as the... Um, uh, the uh, What am I talking about? Yes, the, the musical squip and uh, be more chill. Um, all that aside... I really like the idea, it's really thinking outside of the box, to have something that we are encouraging people to take and we're trying to balance all these incentivizing reasons to take something that ultimately might kill them. And as you take more symptoms, you're reducing your infectivity and scaring people away. That's a really cool idea that can lead to some interesting balance changes in a plaguing scenario, and I like that a lot. Hey, humanity has been saved! Now they are all mindless slaves without the distraction of free will. Their fate is in technology's hands. Now. Only 30 million people left, so it wasn't really that much to be excited about, but okay, 627 days, 62% cure progress, 36,000 points and two stars. Yeah, I mean, again, subject matter aside, the idea that we're having to take something and you're balancing your infectivity and severity, uh, and every symptom actually has a downside to it, so you really want to balance it and time it out right. That's a pretty cool idea for a scenario. The balance changes of that really excites me. So I am quite happy with that, and absolutely will give it a thumbs up for that, if nothing else at all. That said, even the subject matter is kind of fun, um, for those who are at least somewhat familiar with it. So there you go. I like that scenario. Thank you for sending it my way. Good job. My name is Provis. I hope you enjoyed this video. If so, then be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.